Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to connect ChatGPT with Microsoft Excel. I will also show you a couple more ways how you can connect ChatGPT with other apps as well. So let's get started. So as you can see, first thing that you can do is to have add-in functions. So the main benefit of Excel add-in is that it's not dependent on one file like macro workbook and can be easily shared between two different workbooks and users. By the way, thank you for listendata.com for this, um, you know, particular section. Now, as you can see here, um, you know, you have a couple different functions. Now, this add-in has the following seven functions and you can basically add them to Excel. As you can see, you have AI assistant, then you have text or word count, you have AI assistant chat, uh, you have a bunch of different, uh, you know, obviously, um, you know, functions here and you can read all of these functions and copy and paste them and try uh, to basically go and, uh, you know, use them. As you can see, you also have search with chat GPT. So, for example, equals AI assistant, first president of US, you'll get basically a US president. Now, how can you use chat GPT Excel add-in? You will need to open a new or existing MS Excel workbook. You'll need to enter text you want to ask ChatGPT in any cell and then click on ChatGPT tab or AI Assistant. Then you'll need to enter API key and select model type. From there, you'll need to select the cell in which you enter text in step two. Output will be generated and appear within a few seconds, as you can see. So when you want ChatGPT to run on multiple cells, you can use the AI Assistant function. However, what I really like to preface here is that this is for those of you that are tech savvy. If you just want to use Excel, uh, then you can use Google Spreadsheets and it's a much more uh, better option when it comes to chat GPT integration because if you go to extensions, you can go to add-ons and get add-ons and here you can get chat GPT. You can just go in, type in chat GPT and you will get GPT for Google Docs. You also have GPT for Docs, Sheets, and a lot of different things. You have ChatGPT for Google, uh, you know, ads as well. So you have a bunch of different ChatGPTs, but as you can see, this is the one I installed. It's a great one. You can install it and all you have to do is just say equals GPT and you can basically go and use this, you know, for your uh, purposes, whether it's a business or personal purposes, it's much better than just going and integrating it within Excel. Even though uh, this video is about Excel, Google Sheets is pretty much the best alternative out there. So yeah, hopefully this helps you out. Uh, I'll also try to link this uh, down below as well so you can check that out as well. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.